I'm an oncologist. I deal with breast cancer and colorectal cancer patients. One of the main um, topics we deal with in our lab is actually HER2 amplified breast cancer patients. HER2 is very important in breast cancer because if it's upregulated by amplification, it leads to a worse prognosis. If the HER2 copy number is not precisely assessed, it may lead to either under-treatment or over-treatment by not giving the drug to somebody who really needs it or by giving it to somebody who doesn't have the alteration. Assessing this copy number variation with, with a very precise method such as digital PCR may be really transformative for breast cancer practice. The preliminary data we had from the Quant Studio 3D device that was used in collaboration with Life Technology shows that it is really precise. It is not as cumbersome as other methodologies in some ways that are essential. So for example, uh, it doesn't rely upon another samples that is considered normal to tell you a value. So this is of course very important. It doesn't rely on very expensive uh, reagents, which is the case for other methods like fish. Fish is still expensive uh, from a reagent point of view. And it also needs very expensive microscopes and very uh, accurate uh, technical materials. The Quant Studio 3D uh, device it's cheap, it's precise, it's fast, it's easy. When I first saw the Quant Studio 3D, what I thought was, oh wow, that is really cute. <laughs> but <laughs> the real thing I thought about was, uh, oh wow, that's not going to occupy so much bench space in a lab. And this is very important because lab space is something you sometimes fight for. However you assess something, uh, you never have the exact thing, but you must have a um, compromise between uh, precision, accuracy and what you really want from a biological point of view. Digital PCR might be a good compromise between uh, cost effectiveness, precision and uh, reliability. So this is why we were interested in using this kind of methodology for our assessments.